Right time for the match. Day 7, match number 1. And Mumbai Monarch start off with a wide miskeeping by the keeper. Extra runs, runs on already on the board. Day seven. This is Seven Star presents UCB season three. Should. So good running there by Team All Monsters. That could have been close. New opening pair, Papu and Rehan. Good feeling there by Wajid. Very well ball there. Equally well played by Papu. Soft hands, single taken, score moving on. Waiting for the confirmation on the scoreboard. So this is a good start by all monsters picking up a single every delivery they faced. Another single picked up of the last delivery. So six for no loss. This is a fantastic start by all monsters. They believe in picking up singles and doubles in the initial overs, the first couple of overs, not taking any risk, keeping wickets in hand. Step out. Full oh, just as we were catch. saying, what a fantastic catch there. What a brilliant catch. One hander to his left side and plucked out of thin hair. I think that was Yash, if I'm not mistaken. Fantastic catch there. Just as we were talking, they do not take any risk. This was hit uppishly in the air and fantastic catch there. So wicket number one down, seven for one at the end of over number one is Team All Monsters. A very big, big wicket this. And it's a one-handed catch, so it will result in a minus three. It's time to say good evening to Sir Katie and Mr. Akbar Khan. So Shreyans, it was from Team Mumbai Monarchs. What a brilliant catch that was. Minus three to the team. Four for the loss of one wicket at the end of the first over. We are up and early this evening, Kazim, and you see Sir Katie supporting MM. So Imran it is to bowl the second over. Imran pointing. New batsman Arvind Tandale is now on strike. Starts off with a single to the leg side. Easily done. Score moves on to five. Papu now on back on strike, one of the mainstays of Team All Monsters and also the captain. Down the leg side, White saves the Empire. Score moving on to six. In the air, and another try there by Shreyan. This would have been a big wicket. What a fantastic attempt there by Shreyans. He's really putting up a good show today out here, Shreyans, for Mumbai Monarch. Look at him on the screen. And when you have the support of your captain, it's a fantastic feeling. Seven for one when the second over of this All Monsters innings. Good looking drive to the covers, single taken, score moves on to eight. Two balls have been hit officially, one was a blinder. 
and second one was almost a wicket there. Very well bowled there by Imran, beating a batsman like Papu. Brilliant this is bowling and fielding by Team Mumbai Monarch. Edged, edged. <laughs> caught behind, caught behind once again, going for a big shot. And simple catch to the wicket keeper and captain Zed. Another wicket down. This is a big wicket. All monsters have lost. Gansham, 8 for 2. Yes, what a big wicket that was. Losing the captain in the second over. 8 for the loss of 2 wickets. What a big loss this is for all monsters. Gansham has always been the mainstay for team all monsters. You see him playing through the innings, batting till the 5th, 6th, 7th over. They have a very big batting lineup, but definitely Gansham, one of the best. New batsman Deepal replacing Papu. Eight for the loss of two wickets. Last ball of the second over now coming up. We've got Andre Russell who's come out to bat. Well swept there to the leg side, single check in, end of over number two, nine for the loss of two wickets. So what a start this is for Mumbai Monarchs, two big wickets back to the pavilion, nine runs on the board. And it's now time for the most important over of the match, the double trouble over, powered by Niton Valve Industries. Every run scored is double. You lose a wicket, minus five. Sensible batting and get double of what you score. An error and you're in trouble. If they can manage a wicket now in this over, all monsters would definitely be on the back foot. The super sub have been given the responsibility of bowling the most important over of the match. The double trouble over. <coughs> Powered by none other, Niton Valve Industries. So this is the All Monsters over. Can they make full use of this over? Uh, attacking field, only two fielders on the boundary. Starts off with a short ball into the gap, but well done in the end. So two runs added to the total. Score moving on to 11. Once again, played it towards the leg side. Another quick single. Two more runs added to the total. Score moving on to 13. Match number two coming up this evening. Mumbai Dreams up against Lycans. Both looking for victories. Very well played there by Deepal, taking a single to the third man area. Two more runs added, score moving on to 15. In the air and taken. Minus eight. None other than Akbar. This is the all-important double trouble over. Every run scored is double. You lose a wicket. It is minus five. You have special rules at UCB Season 3. One-handed catch results in minus three. So this is minus eight. And this is the first minus eight of UCB Season 3. What an important wicket this is. And there you have Akbar. Calm head there, Akbar. He, rely, he realized it's going to be an easy catch. He tried and one-handed. And he picked that one. So what a big wicket. And minus eight it is.
score moving back to seven for the loss of three wickets. On screen, you see the owner, Mr. Nawaid Sharif, not very happy. This is the Niton double trouble over and his own team is in trouble. Played it towards the leg side, looking for a quick single. They've got one, looking for the second. Misfield results in two runs there. So four runs added to the total. New man in is Sandeep, who's picked up two of the first delivery. In the air, chance, chance. And he's put down. He is put down. Score is 11 for 3. A simple catch would have resulted in minus 5. He tried to do Akbar there, looking for that minus 8 instead. He drops that catch. Two runs added to the total. So at the end of three overs, 13 for 3. It could have easily been six or it would have easily been three on the board. Had this been a one-handed catch, it would have been three for four. And that would have been a very big wicket of Sandeep. We all know what he is capable of. That should have been taken. Two handers, no problem. It is Sandeep. He can change a match on his own. You cannot big give chance. life to a batsman like Sandeep Scalibur. Will he make full use of it? So 13 for the loss of three wickets. Will he three make overs them pay? have been completed. Will he make them pay, Kazim? There's more chances of that. Full toss, and he doesn't make them pay. So Mum Sandeep, after getting alive, losing his wicket to a full toss. Mumbai Monarch on the charge. Fourth wicket picked up. All monsters in deep, deep, deep trouble. 13 for four. For Mumbai Monarch, UCB is like their own tournament. It's difficult to beat them. But this is a very good contest, Kazim. Mumbai Monarch champions UCB season one. Up against all monsters, champions UCB season two. So you can say it is a clash of the titles. Is the clash of the champions. In comes Vikas replacing Sandeep. 13 for the loss of four wickets. Very well paddled over there, straight to Oves. Single taken, score moving on to 14. <coughs> Reverse sweep into the gap. Brilliant placement, easy to. Deepal is the man. Slide misfield by the keeper and it results in another run. So three runs picked up there by Deepal. Good batting and good running between the wickets by Deepal and Vikas. So three runs of that delivery. Full toss swept again to the leg side. Good, Good fielding. fielding. Good fielding by the fielder, keeping them down to just a single. Score moving on to 16. Clean them up, clean them up, too close to cut, it was too close to cut and Deepal has lost his stump, fifth wicket down for all monsters, score reading just 15. This is trouble for all monsters, all big wickets back to the pavilion, 17, five wickets lost, half the side back to the pavilion, 18 for the loss of five wickets. So Kazim, this is... Champions season one versus champions season two. And we have Mumbai Monarch showing who's the boss. 16 for five, all monsters.
Kazim, you play a lot in uh, uh, the All Monsters team. Not happy with the way your team is faring? If they're playing without me, it's bound to happen. Oh, I see he's taking his role as the opening bowler too seriously, is he? I'm not in a situation to say anything, Karan. I've been dropped from the team. The if I say anything, if I say anything, he may drop me from the team. Oh Forget oh. playing 11, he may drop me from the team. So oh I wouldn't oh. want to say anything. He's been leading the teams now. All right. His, his role is getting even more serious with every franchise that he plays for now. He's become an integral part of But also the support and the planning staff. I've just been informed, Karan, that I'm going to be playing today. So it's like a debut at UCB Season 3 for me. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. I'll be done with my match. So you can be sure that, uh, I mean, of course, I'll have no option but to do commentary because you guys will be busy. Unfortunately, I've not been, uh, no, I've been secured a place this evening. That's not because of my performance. That's because the co-owner, Imran, is out of town. But this is, this is your chance. This is your chance to prove yourself. You... You do, you do a Kazim and then may, who knows, maybe Kazim's dropped and you're playing. I'm going to get a chance today, so it's a debut at UCB Season 3 for me, but I'm, I still know I'm just going to be a keeper. Bro, you're, you're selling yourself. Oh, what, what feeling! feeling that is what a fantastic what feeling that is you. Absolutely phenomenal! team I think who are 20 for 6 and I would still not say it's over
wide. A little too wide. Yeah, someone from, uh, you know, Akbar's played a lot. Uh, that was a nothing delivery, Karan. So coming back to Z and Kazim, uh, I, I heard you guys were having a little chat. Good shot by Naved for a single. Oh, direct Good it! Throw. Direct it! But I think he made it very comfortably. Great throw. So not out, says the Empire. Are they going to go in for a review? No, they're not. So I heard you were chatting with uh, Z. Uh, so is he playing the game today? Z has got an opportunity, is what he has said. And, you know, like I was saying before that brilliant run out, he said, you know, I know I'm just going to be the keeper. So I was telling him, you're selling yourself cheap, my friend. Being a keeper is probably one of the most important, firstly, the most important fielding position in the team because you have a complete view of the entire you know ground as far as the field setting is concerned and we've seen if you don't have a very good keeper you give away a lot of extras so a keeper is very important i don't know why your team is uh, not taking that too a little more seriously and as far as you are concerned don't sell yourself cheap my friend I wish and I pray that I get a chance to play for United Levin very soon. See, I, I would love for that to happen, but we already have our fixed keeper, and my word, is he brilliant. He's, he's a friend uh, who plays a lot of cricket in Lonavla. Shanavas, one of the one of the best wicket keepers I have seen in my entire playing days. Trust me, absolutely brilliant. So, yeah. Um, United 11 is a little uh, not sure, but Shanu sometimes tends to be busy. But you're not a keeper when you play over him. I mean, leather ball cricket. Well, I'm a left arm spinner, Karan. We played a lot against each other, if you remember. You're talking about underarm? I, I didn't, I didn't want to chance. get into that. <laughs> oh, there you see on screen the opening bowler. For every team that he plays for now. Owner, director, captain, Lashkaria Lions. <laughs> there you see on your screen, on my right. Oh, that's a big shot. Too big, too big. Oh, no, Akiba, will, Akiba will agree with me. Akiba, don't you agree that uh, the keeper is the most important spot? And I was telling him he's selling himself too cheap. Look, uh, I think a good keeper, uh, if you have a good keeper in your team, half the battle is won because he tends to control the entire field placement uh, he knows exactly where the you know where the shots are going he can make the changes because he's got the best view uh, uh, you know on the field he's got the best view so ideally uh, a good keeper is a boon uh, for any team and I think Z has done that consistently well every time I have seen him play that's exactly what I was saying see now you know where I get my words of wisdom from I'm looking for a new owner, a new owner, Karan and Akibai, because unfortunately, Mr. Wasim Lashkaria doesn't believe so. Done. Next tournament, we are going to buy a team. And I believe, Karan, you will support me in this. <laughs> I think you're going to support me in this. About Look. Mr. Wasim Lashkaria not listening, uh, I don't want to get down that road. Look, I. Uh, I, I think uh, there's a lot of influence uh, someone has on Vaseem. Uh, you, you know. you, exactly. See, Akiba, and you, uh, we both know what exactly Akiba is hinting towards. You can see him, the biggest, not smile, the biggest laugh you can see on his face. So, And he's your partner, friend. Uh, I think it's time to use that influence, see? Yeah, but major influence because uh, it's very strange. I, I have a team, and uh, if I have a player like Z, you're not sitting down, mate. Never. What a good shot. That's a one-handed catch again by Akbar. And there's a minus three there. So Akbar again. Another minus three. So it's getting, looking really difficult now. I mean, 37. Uh, if they get a six, 43. I think that's not going to be enough for a team like Mumbai Monarchs. But again, anything is possible. So I'm never going to say never. And of course, team... Uh, all monsters if who better than them to give any team a run for their money even when they're defending 43 if Naved can hit a six right now but well, I would love to see Naved do that he's a good uh, sensible cricketer he's a decent bat 
and uh, quite a capable bat to get that one six the team needs played it towards the leg side one completed looking for the second and they've got two easy runs there so with so that, that's the 14. end of the allotted eight, o eight overs. 39 for the loss of nine wickets is what all monsters have scored up against Mumbai Monarch. Coming so back to Akibai. 40 is the target. Aki I think they should do this easily. But again, it's a funny game this. We'll have to wait and watch. But anyway, so live action coming up, ladies and gentlemen. First innings just completed. The chase, 40, the target for team Mumbai Monarchs to get to register yet another win against the mighty all monsters live action coming up stay tuned uh, you can catch all the action live on youtube our channel united cricket bash and of course on seven star digital channel number 99 for the repeats and 100 for all live action stay tuned Right, we are back with the chase. 40 is the target for Mumbai Monarchs. Not a very big target, but they are up against all monsters. So anything is possible. First over to be bowled by the most experienced and willy bowler, Santosh Mama. It's not going to be easy, Kazim. With the side all monsters have, it's not going to be easy. Definitely, they are up against the best team of underarm cricket, all monsters. On strike, hard-hitting batsman Imran pointing. So Mama starts off with a wide, one run on the board. All Monsters have played two games. They won one, lost one. That was an upset for All Monsters against Rising Stars. No, I Santosh say, Mama had an off day. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was an upset. You know, Rising Stars is a pretty good team this time. Very good players. They have Tati, Rahil, Mushi, all of them in form. Definitely the name says it all, rising stars. The stars are definitely rising in that team. So that is a team to watch out in this tournament. It's already become one of my favorites. And when you have Tatir, he's superb. On strike is Wajid. Mama to continue. Very well bowled there on his legs. That could have been close. Very well fielded. Well fielded there by Deepal, but the batsmen were quick to complete a close single. Score moves on to four. 
big match coming up Kazim match number two this evening what do you have to say Mumbai dreams up against Lycans down the leg side another wide they are already feeling the pressure I feel you all monsters all right talking about the next match big match definitely Mumbai dreams versus Lycans Lycans a lot of experienced players Mumbai dreams a lot of stars so anything is possible in that match. Well bowled there, lots of respect shown by Imran. And when you have the right-handed Ravindra Jadeja playing for Lycans, it's a fantastic team. Well played there, into the gap, single taken, but a good looking shot on the back foot from the bat of Imran. Score moves on to, f I think it's six. Lots of flights, and that is out of the park. Wicket number one, Wajid. Out in a different fashion, you see batsman overheating, and it crosses the boundary. He's hit it on the leg side. So five for the loss of one wicket. Early wicket for team Mumbai Monarch. And this is exactly what all monsters were looking for. They were looking for an early wicket, and they have picked one here. A new batsman replacing Wajid is Sagar. Early wicket for Mumbai Monarch. Five for the loss of one wicket. Still a delivery to be bowled in the first over. Oh, well bowled there. And he ends the over with a dot ball. So one over completed. Five for the loss of one wicket. Small target for Mumbai Monarchs. But we all know All Monsters is not a pushover. So Jignesh is the new bowler, bowling the second over for Team All Monsters. Imran on strike. Good shot there by pointing, swept to the leg side, single taken. So we have Imran on strike and I have Imran next to me. Short ball into the leg side. Well done there by Vikas. Good fielding. Keeping them down to just a single. Score moving on to seven. Jignesh to continue. Full toss. Driven straight to the fielder. Just a single. So they are dealing in singles at the moment. Score moving on to eight. Small target, 40, so they can afford to do this. Eight, balls, eight. eight for one, when the second over of this chase. Very well played there by pointing. Into the gap, one declared. That was unlucky. Two runs were written. That was played uppishly towards the point region. Unfortunately, just a single of it. Score moving on to nine. We're in the second over. I think this match with change 
complexion in the third over that is the double trouble over yes, we will have a clear picture once we've complete with three overs of this inning definitely well ball there he's cleaned him up what a delivery pointing at no clue lots of spin middle stump uprooted big wicket wicket number two nine for the loss of two wickets even if you have a small target, all monsters will never give up and they fight till the end. There you see wicket number two picked up. Nine for the loss of two wickets is Mumbai Mona chasing a modest target of 40. In comes Akbar. Mumbai Mona, Akbar. It would have been better if pointing was playing a natural game. You know, you've seen him going after the bowling from the first ball and this time he's only looking at the singles. Yes, he's an aggressive batsman. You see, he likes to play his shots. He was looking in a different form today or I would say a uh, different thought process. He was looking to pick singles only, which is not his real game, as you said, natural game. That's why I always play your natural game. And let us play our natural game if we get a chance. So last ball of the second over, Jignesh to bowl, Akbar on strike. This is a good over by all monsters. In the air, that should have been taken. Chance, and it's gone down. And when you have an experienced fielder like Deepal, you know he can take those half chances. This any, was more than half a chance, Kazim. Any other day, he would have taken it one-handed. That is Deepal, easy catch. And you cannot give chance a life to Akbar. All right, it's time for the third over, double trouble over, powered by Niton Valve Industries. Every run scored is doubled. You lose a wicket, minus five. One-handed catch, as we saw in the first innings, in the double trouble over, it's going to be minus eight. We've seen that already. Can we see another one this evening? You know, I would say he can target the Super 8 board and get 16. Very much a possibility, but with two early wickets, I don't think they're going to do this. You know, this is a good chance for all monsters to make a comeback, put pressure on the batsman, get some close fielders, try for a minus five, and get back into the game big time. Requesting the captains of team Mumbai Dreams and captain of team Likens to please come over for the toss. Big match, match number two this evening coming up. Mumbai Dreams taking on Team Lycans. It's going to be fun, it's going to be exciting, and it's going to be loud. Loud, I can assure you. So, inviting owners, Mr. Shakil Badliwala, Mr. Buran Achwa, along with Mr. Wasip Peshumam for the toss, please. Who is the co owner of Mumbai Dreams? Well run there, single taken of the first delivery, two runs added to the total, score moving on to. 11. 12 runs this over, Kazim, and I think the match is in the pocket for Mumbai Munak. You know, Akbar is the key. Akbar is definitely the key for Mumbai Munak. A big wicket. If they can get his back. See, the score reads in. 21 of 3 overs is going to be easy for Mumbai Munak. But if they lose a wicket to 2, trouble, trouble in the double trouble. Reverse sweep into the gap, good looking shot, one declared, so two more runs added, score moves on to 13, that is a good looking shot from the bat of Akbar, you know, he, look, he makes batting look so easy. And we have Hanif supporting Mumbai Monarch and playing for Khalis Kings. That's the beauty of this tournament. Seven Star presents United Cricket Bash Season 3. Yeah. After the match, everybody is a friend out here.
So Papu to continue, 13 for the loss of two wickets. We are into the third over, which is a double trouble over. Very well bowled there by Papu, lots of flight. Off spin, and the batsman plays it back to the bowler. A dot ball. In the air, one declared. Good shot. Inside out, over the covers. Confident shot by Akbar. So two more runs added to the total. Score moving on to 15. Requesting the captain of Mumbai Dreams to please come over for the toss or any other representative. I can see Shiraz. Well bowled again by Papu. Good feeling of his own bowling. Couldn't do much with the bat this evening, but he's trying his best uh, with bowling, and he's bowling that all-important double trouble over. Well played there, straight to the fielder, just a single. End of over number three, 17 for the loss of two wickets. Decent start this. And coming back, uh, Akibai, when you were talking about Kazim this evening. So three overs, 17 for the loss of two wickets. Fourth over to be bowled by Sandeep. And we are moving in, moving in for the toss between Lycans and Mumbai Dreams. Another single added to the total. Akibai, coming back to the topic where you were talking about Kazim. He's a very good friend of mine. He's my friend, he's my partner. But believe me, if you have a friend like him, you do not need enemies. <laughs> Look. Uh, In the air, coming back to the match. And Akbar is out. Soft dismissal there. Third wicket down, Mumbai Monarch in some sort of trouble. 19 for the loss of three wickets. I beg your pardon, 18 for the loss of three wickets. Look, this is what Kar uh, Karan was emphasizing about, that uh, you can't keep all monsters out for a very long time. A small total, 40 is the target, but uh, they're making a match out of it. But let's not forget uh, Mumbai Monarch. What a strong side they are. They've got uh, a lot of batting. This was a nothing shot and their owner, Naveed Sharif, takes an easy catch. Yes, coming back to that topic, he's a very good friend of mine, fantastic cricketer. He's my partner, everything. But if you have a friend like Kazim, you don't need any me. I... I Uh, Z, look, I'm a big uh, fan of your batting and uh, a fan of the way you keep and you control the, you know, the entire match. Uh, I've been harping about it for a long time, but it's making, I don't know, maybe uh, Vaseem sees some light and uh, gets you to play today. Of yes, I'm going, to, I'm going to be playing today. Wonderful. I right? have my debut for UCB Season 3 this evening. That's because the co-owner Imran is out of town. <laughs> but uh, any which way, I'm glad you're playing. So as Karan said that I need to perform and I need to perform well to secure, to cement my place, but it's not going to happen. It depends uh, when you get to bat, uh, but I'm sure you can do a lot uh, behind the stumps. Very well played there towards the offside, picking up a single, looking for the second and um, being sent back. So just a single there. In some sort of trouble is Mumbai Monarch, four overs, 21 for the loss of three wickets. Another good cricketer, Sagar. He's a tremendous uh, overarm cricketer. A great bowler, fantastic batsman, great fielder. So, also wishing him a happy belated birthday, Sagar. 
And of course, uh, and with him, Shreyansh, who's taken that wonderful catch. So two able batsmen chasing a small target. But uh, all monsters making a match out of, it, out of it. Picked up three wickets. 19 more. So Z, where do you see it going from here? You 19, see a couple of wickets? 19 runs, 24 deliveries. This pair is the key. They need to at least score another 10, 11 runs. A crafty bowler, Deepal is. Uh, super cricketers. All monsters. Well balled and what a wicket. What a wicket. So Karan was absolutely right. Uh, you know when he said uh, you can never keep all monsters out of a game. Uh, what a performance. Uh, they may have faltered with the bat. But uh, look at them come back by picking up four important wickets. And what a ball. Well, he, he, he walked all over that uh, ball. He made it more difficult for himself. It is not a season cricket wicket, leather ball wicket. But uh, Akibai, is there anything wrong with the wicket today? 42 being the target, 21 for four already, Mumbai Monarch. Look, as you, uh, you, know, as you keep playing here... Uh, you know, people will realize how you're supposed to bowl and uh, maybe the batting, the, the, you know, what you, the scores that you saw earlier, 100 odd and 105 and 108 being uh, set as a target. To reduce, uh, because people get used to bowling here. But you've seen how all monsters have bowled. See, they've bowled a little slower. Uh, a little slower than what you would uh, normally see. Probably a little more slow, much more slower than what people have bowled. Inviting the batsmen to go for the big ones. You miss, I hit is the rule there for Deepal. And that you have Mr. Cool, Zed on strike. Taking the responsibility for his team, captaining the side today. He needs to come good for his team. And let's not forget, this is UCB champions season one, UCB season two champions up against each other. Yeah, this is a good sight. And I, I like what Zed has done. I'm sure there are a lot of batsmen out there. But, uh, you know, he's had a lot, he, he has a lot of experience. Uh, so he's taken the onus upon himself to come down and try and chase out the total of 40. And, uh, you know, nicely played into the gap, picked up a run. There was an overthrow. This could have easily been another wicket. He was not even in the frame had this been a direct hit. Well, you've got to take your chances at that time. Uh, if you... Fortune favoring Mumbai Monarchs this evening, you saw... Mumbai Monarch, when they were fielding, they had uh, all direct hits. They picked up lots of wickets, runouts in the form of runouts, fantastic catches, minus eight. They did it all. All monsters are trying their best. Yeah, so ideally, probably, uh, probably the two best sides in the competition uh, in UCB. Of course, you've got plenty new teams who've done really well. Uh, you know, some of them coming back after losing a couple of matches. And some just winning uh, outright, someone like a Pan Warrior. But th these are, these are you know, seasoned teams. Uh, they played well. Look at this once again. <laughs> Fortune favoring Mumbai Monarch. Direct hit. But the Bales did not dislodge. In the end, Zed gets another life. So he's just faced one delivery and he's got two lives already. Uh, yeah, and uh, three runs to go with it. So... Just 15 more needed. Shouldn't be all that difficult. Uh, uh, Sagar is a pretty seasoned player. And of course, so is Zed. But I let's see what, uh, what else can all monsters do, Z. I think this is what experience is for. Look at all monsters. Had there been any other side defending 42, they would have already given up. But when you have all monsters, this is the experience which counts. And... Uh, Underarm cricket, turf cricket is more about how well you handle the pressure. I think the team which handles the pressure better, they're going to come out victorious this evening. Yeah, yeah you know, just like uh, Mumbai Monarch, even all monsters have a great captain in Papu. And, uh, you know, some fantastic fielders. You've seen Sandy picking up some incredible catches. Uh, just like uh, what uh, Mumbai Monarchs did, you know, some great fielders in both the sides. Even a small total is being, uh, they're fighting hard.
Full toss, played it towards the leg side, just a single. That was a great shot uh, by Sagar. You know, there's a lot of gap out there. And uh, what a good hit, what a good hit that was. 14 runs away. 17 deliveries to be bowled. In the air, chance, one-handed catch. This time, the luck runs out. Zed is walking back. Minus three. It results in a minus three. 17 runs required now of 16 deliveries. So this is what UCB gets you. One-handed catch and it results in a minus three. So you're never out of the game. Uh, you know, we are very fortunate... Uh to have uh, come up with these uh, wonderful rules and regulations that we, I mean rules, regulations that we have. You're never out of the game, Z. And uh, I think all the credit goes to the entire think tank for coming up with these uh, very innovative rules. And you see a smile on Naveed's face. Uh, it's nice to see that. Absolutely. This is the match. This is the clash of the champions. Season 1, Season 2 up against each other. Yes, definitely, we would have loved to see a high-scoring fight between the two, but uh, a low-scoring fight is better than a high-scoring fight. You see, it's getting difficult Well, it's Mumbai interesting. Now. Uh, it's interesting, Z. Uh, and you've got uh, one, of the, my, one of my most uh, favorite players out there, number 92, Sohail Qureshi, incredible batsman, fielder. He's a great uh, sportsman. And I think he's become the key now for Mumbai Monarch if they have to win this match from this situation. Runs have not been coming easy, even singles. This is one such ground where you can have singles and doubles at will, but unfortunately, it's not happening for Mumbai Monarch at the moment. It's a lot of pressure out there. Uh, you know, you've got uh, what they've done well, what Papu's done well is, you know, he's kept his fielders close in to try and save those uh, ones and twos. Uh, and I think we've got uh, Sir Katie back on uh, the, in the com box. Welcome, Katie. Sir Katie, my bad. Uh, you know what? I Yes, uh, All Monsters is a team that, like I said, even in the first innings, even in the first innings, you know, while they were batting, I said that they are not going to let this go. They are, they are going to make a game out of this. But, Oh, that is absolutely brilliant awareness. Brilliant awareness by Sagar and Sohail. Stealing two from a run-out opportunity. Well, I think it was a clear run-out. He threw no at the wrong doubt. end. He there's threw at the wrong end. There was, there was no doubt in my mind that should have been a run-out. Yeah, there you go. See, he threw it at the wrong end. Sohail was gone for all money. He was lost. But the throw was wayward, misfield. Fortunate to get two. But anyway, coming back to what I was saying, yes, All Monsters is a formidable team. I said it in the first innings that they're not going to let things go easy. They're going to make a match out of it. But I think uh, Team Mumbai Monarchs have dug themselves into a hole for no reason at all. I mean, with a batting lineup like theirs, I mean, 40 should have been easy. Whatever pressure was being imposed by the fielding team, it shouldn't have mattered. I mean, 48 balls, if my math serves me right, 40 runs to get with two power plays. Very good shot by Sagar, single. With two power plays and, you know, the double trouble over and 48 balls, 40 runs to get. I think they've made it more difficult than it actually was. And they've done it to themselves. And they have just themselves to blame. Yeah, but then you've got, I understand, you know, Katie, it always happens. Uh, sorry, Sir Katie. Let me correct myself. So it happens, uh, you know, you, the best of teams uh, falter and uh, get into this pressure situations. Uh, it also happens because of the kind of pressure applied by the opposition. And... I think uh, with Papu as a captain and the fielding unit that they have and the field that has been set, there has been a tremendous amount of pressure applied on to Mumbai I Monarch. I agree with you to an extent that... I, uh, don't, I don't take that away at all. Yes, the Team All Monsters. But we expect that from Team All Monsters. I said it in the first innings. They are not going to let this go easy. They are going to make a match out of it. But, you know, like 
I have played a lot, a lot, maybe most of my cricket uh, under your captaincy. You have to, and like you always told us, whether you're scoring 40, I mean a low target set because you did exceptionally well with the ball, it doesn't matter. You go out in the center and you play your natural game. It doesn't matter whether you're chasing 100 in eight overs or if you're chasing 40. You know, pointing as a cricketer is super aggressive. From what I saw, he wasn't being aggressive. He was taking his singles. Why? You play your natural game. And if you don't, this is what happens. I mean, I'm not saying they've lost it, but I'm not saying they've won it either. It, I mean, like we were discussing in season two, and which worked, which, which, which actually worked. But if you remember, I said, if mo all monsters are a team, if you let them get a foot in the door, they are going to make sure they kick that door down for sure. You know, they're going to kick that door down for sure. And this is just the opportunity they didn't want. They shouldn't, I'm not, didn't want, they wanted and shouldn't have been given to them by Team Mumbai Monarchs. Again, I'm not saying Mumbai Monarchs are going to lose this. But, I mean, they've made it more difficult than it actually is. And by their own doing. Yes, Karan, I would like to add, uh, when you were talking about Akiba and his captaincy, we played a lot against your team, United 11 versus Sunny, Ele uh, Sunny 11. If you guys remember, we tried everything, scoring 200, getting out for 80, getting you all out for 80. We still ended up, uh, uh, ended up as, uh, you know, on the losing side. So we've seen a lot from uh, Akiba, who played uh, lots of cricket against you guys. And uh, obviously, Karan, you were the star of that team. Let's not forget, you're being a, a little too modest today, but you've been the star of that team. Uh, Zishan, this game, I want to say something. This game really, it feels that two champion teams are playing. It's truly showing. When I was in the way I was coming, I thought that all monsters have lost it, but here, they are really champions. It shows the spirit. It shows that they are the champions of UCB2. And they have shown the game here, which is really appreciating. Naved, it is really nice that your team is showing the spirit. Absolutely, Wasibai, absolutely. These guys have shown what champions are made of. Fantastic cricketers, these two guys. These two teams, I would say, are very well led by their fantastic captains. You see Zed and uh, Gansham.
Score moving on to 31 for the loss of 5 wickets. 6.3 overs already bowled. 9 runs required. 9 deliveries to be bowled. Mumbai Monarch. Chance of a run out and out says the umpire. Big wicket this. 31 for the loss of 6 wickets. Mumbai Monarch. And he's gone in for a referral. 31 for 5. Fourth delivery of the seventh over. And we have a referral. The on field decision is out. We're waiting for the third umpire's decision. So we have a quick decision from the third umpire. Out says the umpire. Six wicket down for Mumbai Munak. 31 for the loss of six wickets. Nine runs required. Eight deliveries to be bowled. It's getting interesting. And the batting team have lost their referral. Vikas is the bowler. Two deliveries yet to be bowled in this over. SQ on strike. Jersey number 92, Sohail Qureshi. Down the leg side. Wide call by the umpire. Important run added to the total. Score moving on to 33. Way down, way outside the off stump, wild swing and a miss by SQ. Once again, the umpire says wide. So two back-to-back -back wides there. Score moving on to 33, 7 required, 8 deliveries to be bowled. Step out, maximum it is, SQ, for Mumbai Monarch. So SQ comes to the rescue for Mumbai Monarch. What a fantastic six. And scores are level, scores are level. Just one required, seven deliveries to be bowled. What an important shot that was in the context of the game. Six from the bat of SQ. Just a single required, swept. Single it is. And with this, Mumbai Monarch have registered a victory by four wickets against all monsters and these is, this is back to back loss for all monsters they've lost two consecutive matches now so what a fantastic win it is for mumbai monarch and with that six 
what a match we saw what a match we witnessed in the end four wickets victory for mumbai monarch so sq comes to the rescue for mumbai monarch moving on for match number 2 it's toss time mumbai dreams up against lions So I've got uh, Mr. Naveed Chari from All Monsters, the owner. Hard luck, Naveed. Uh, still, you know, Karan said it right in the beginning. If any team who can make a match out of this, even after scoring 40, is All Monsters, then you did a great job. We did a great job by, uh, with the bowling department, but I'm really let down with my batting. Our uh, team actually 40 is not the score that we should score on any given day. With the kind of batsmen that we have, 40 is a cakewalk. I think we should have four overs forty. Very upsetting this time. Now, with uh, you know, there's always been this thing about uh, we not trying to be fair at times. Uh, but I think you heard the entire commotion out there. I think the league is always trying to support uh, you know the rules of the league and try and support that. Uh, and uh, I think you did a great job uh, as a, as a team owner and your captain did a fantastic job. by fighting hard against a team like uh, mumbai monarch and i know the kind of team you are you come back really strong yeah yeah definitely we come back very strong and um, i appreciate what kd did and i agree to kd the decision that he took that it was a declared run because it hit him and it went and if somebody has to throw it it's not in the right spirit and it's overthrow so there are two different things they were arguing on and yeah and you'll get two runs definitely because it's a that run and then the overthrow That's what I also understood the logic. So I also did. I was telling Zaid Bhai to keep it cool, but as usual, we we stayed away from the argument because since already to committee and they were discussing. So we said, I told my players, we'll keep out of it. Whatever the decision, we'll accept it. So that was it. Uh, the point out here is that we are trying to be as fair as possible. Uh, it is only the league that we tend to support, and I thank you for all your support. Now we're in a great game, and wish you the best for the next. Now we know uh, who's won the game. Uh, we de definitely like to call the owners of uh, Mumbai Monarch. With them, they are captained Z to please come forward, and we like uh, Wasip to please come forward with us also. Wasip, also a partner in uh, UCB. Can we please have Majid with us? Is Majid around? So this is a ritual that we tend to follow. This is the cake uh, that's been given to every winning captain owner. Wasib, we'd like you to hand over the congratulations, Majid. Congratulations, Zaid. Of course, congrats to Saif as well. Saif is not here, but uh, I think uh, Wasib loves the cake. That's the reason I've given it in his hand. Congratulations to the winning team, UCB Season Three, Mumbai Monarch, the champions that they are. Thank you so much. Can we please have Sajid from Wardrobe? Can we please have Sajid? Sajid from Wardrobe, when you can please come forward. Welcome, Sajid. Thank you very much for supporting us. Uh, you've been a part of UCB. Uh, you know, one of the sponsors in our league. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, this man of the match definitely goes to one of when he went out to bat. Uh, I said it one of my most favorite players uh, Sohail Qureshi for that wonderful innings. So here we have it uh, plenty of coupons I think all the names have been uh, said earlier. There are a lot of gifts that are coming your way I think there are plenty of coupons that you can uh, actually sit down and uh, look at it and enjoy those coupons if you like listen to music. Of course, a little back from uh, fraternity, a bat, and of course our trophy. So wonderful innings by Sohail.
Well done, Sohail. You deserve it. But I think you should just wait for a, for a couple of seconds more. Because I think the maximum sixes also goes to you. Maximum sixes by Sohail Qureshi. Well done, Sohail. Congratulations for that wonderful innings. Can we have... And the catch of the match goes to none other than Shreyansh. That exceptional catch by Shreyansh. So, well, if you can, Salman, if you can come forward and... Of course, in the Spartan poker. Super performances by Mumbai Monarch to beat a strong, tough team like all monsters. Congratulations, guys. You deserve it. Thank you very much, Sajid. Congratulations. You totally deserve it, Zed. Congrats, brother. So we won't waste any more time. We like to call the captain owner of Mumbai Dreams and Lycans. Please to come forward for the toss. Z, if you can join me, please. Z, the man who'll be playing the match, uh, UCB Season 3. Welcome, Vasib. Very warm welcome to you. So where, where are those wonderful flags that I left?